Shalom. Normally, normally I uh, stumble. Uh, I, I have to realize that the music is too loud. This time, I think it's befitting because uh, the song that was playing was Time for Some Action by Redman. And we are definitely in the time of some action. All right, so, you know, I know Israel's going to go crazy with videos. I told you so. You know, basically what, what's what's happening here is we have a conflict in which, uh, from, from what, you know, I, I, I've literally listened to about five different news sources. It appears that uh, Ukraine thinks they're tough. Ukraine has been, uh, has been, um, I guess, kind of it, like America has been in the ears of the Ukraine people, president, and Ukraine has been taking hostile actions. This part may or may not be 100% true. Allegedly, Ukraine has been doing, you know, basically shit to kind of poke the bear. And, uh, you know, Russia's, Russia's retaliating, actually, uh, based on one news report that I heard. I think it was by BBC. So you want to get Al Jazeera, BBC, and the American news. Uh, but anyway, reading on, uh, I, I want to pull one of my favorite scriptures out the Bible, which is uh, Isaiah 47. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Now, it's not actual Babylon. It's the virgin daughter of Babylon. Why is it the virgin daughter of Babylon? America has not been touched. Um, as a government, you know, they, they have pretty much, uh, they're, they're the daughter of Babylon because Babylon, they're, they're not actual Babylon. That's why we have to get an understanding. Um, Babylon itself is different from the virgin daughter of Babylon. This is being prophesied in the time of Isaiah. It says, sit on the ground, meaning come down. America has been such a quote-unquote great country, whatever. The economy's down. I'll tell y'all right now, I trade stocks on Robin Hood, and the shit is down. America is is in the shitter as far as stocks. Like, literally, I, would, I, I think literally all my stocks are down. I can't think of one that's in at a profit. I just sold Anheuser-Busch at a profit. It wasn't a big profit, but it was a profit. But for the most part, all the stocks are down. The economy sucks. Um, you know, America is really coming down in many ways. Life in America sucks. You know, you got, uh, you know, constant issues between Republicans, Democrats, getting to the point where Republicans are getting really, you know, antsy every time they hear about a, uh, things like the Amar Arby case and, and Breonna Taylor, like, like the, this country is totally fucking divided. You know, you got people that, you know, you got the, the LGBT issue, like this country is in conflict in and of itself. Right. So reading on, it says, Oh daughter, there is no throne. Oh daughter of the Chaldeans. Meaning that the rulership is about to be taken out, you know, Russia, and here's here's the thing where you know you also got a scripture I believe in Revelations where all the men that were at peace with thee have brought thee even to the border. A lot of countries have been, you know, tolerating America. It's not that they're at peace and they love America. Listen, America's the top superpower in the world, but you know what? It's also the biggest joke in the world. So reading on, it says, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. People will no longer look at America. Because when people see life in America, they see a sweet life. That sweet life is no more. Right now, America is, you know, people see that sweet life is at the cost of, of, of sodomites and, and a lot of uh, sexual immorality that is not tolerated in a lot of countries. And the countries that do tolerate it are also looked at as, as wicked and are not respected. Um by the other side, so to speak. So it says, take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So America and all the shame that uh, of the things that it does across the world is being uncovered. Because the day, the day that America goes to war with Russia, Russia will definitely let the world know who the fuck they're dealing with. 
Um, I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. So that goes to show you that this is talking about, it's not talking about Babylon. It's talking about Babylon the Great. If you notice in the scriptures, there's a Babylon and there's Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is here. This is Babylon the Great, America, United States. And all the countries that are subject to America are all part of the kingdom. It says, uh, thou didst show them no mercy. They didn't show us no goddamn mercy. What, what mercy has America showed to black and brown people? It says, upon the ancient has thou verily, very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, because that America does have this concept and idea that they are indestructible and they will be out, you know, they will be doing what they're doing forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Because America had been warned by the by God's prophets for thousands of years. Thousands of years. You know. I mean, not America itself, but the warnings of what would happen that eventually turned into America has been prophesied for, for over a thousand years. Thousands of years. You know, but uh it says, um, therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures. Because that's what life in America is like. People are now doing what makes them happy. You know, people are, are you know, living for the moment. People are not living lives that you can be proud of because you know that's why you have women naked all over the place because it, it pleases them you know the sexual revolution the the equal, gender equality no gender roles like all these things have become what now is america you know uh it's all about pleasure what makes you happy it's not it's no longer about what's best for god and country because that's what that's one thing i have to respect with republicans is that they are all about God and country. Which God and country is where we differ, but it should be about God and country. It should be about what, what, you know, the, the principles that America lied about saying one nation under God, that's how we should really be one nation under the God of Israel as Israelites. So, you know, but, um, that's how America is. It says that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. That's how America boasts. They think they're the greatest country in the world, and they don't think nobody is even touching America. And that's why Russia is, you know, their their firm warning. They're saying whoever interferes with what we're doing with Ukraine is going to have a catastrophic. Basically. Is going to suffer a fate that you don't even, that that has never happened before in history. And I could tell you the Hiroshima and Nagasaki happened in history. So if there's if Russia's threatening to do something worse than that to whoever interferes, that's it. That's that, that's where we headed to. We're headed to that time. It says, uh, "I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children." That's what America says. They're basically saying, "Look, we're we're, we're going to be good." We could do whatever we want. We could still continue with all these pleasures and, and drugs and, and pornography and naked women all over the place. And we're good. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. So there's going to be a lot of death, chaos, and destruction. It says, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. So due to America's witchcraft and all the evil that it has done in this earth, that's going to be the, the payback, is the destruction that's coming uh, at the hands of, of not only the Russians. But you got to remember, Russia is in league with uh, Cuba, my country that I was born in. Russia is in league with India, uh, I believe Brazil. Because, um, you know, you got the, the, the BRICS nations. Uh, Russia is also in, in league with North Korea. And North Korea is not, not very happy, never has been very happy with America. You know, the closest was probably when Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, you know, met up. But other than that, 
Nah, North Korea is not not an ally. You know, and North, and North Korea is with Iran and Russia. So you already know America's, you know, got problems. We don't because we Israel. It says, therefore, evil shall come upon thee. Oh, no, Salat. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Therefore, evil shall come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. Because so, so many countries are going to be hitting America. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. And mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. So there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a very tough time for the United States. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. So since America, from the in, from the beginning of it, has had the, the Freemasonry, the Illuminati, and all the evil Satan worship hidden as Christianity... Stick with it now. Keep that same energy. Is pretty much what the Lord is saying. Um, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. So if that shit is the truth, if the, if your voodoo and and all your your Satanism is the solution, then you you will survive. But since it's not, you won't. It says, uh, thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels let now the astrologers the stargazers the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee so let 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 all your damn stargazers and all your wizards and warlocks and all the all the the mighty men of esau save you from what's coming behold they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame this is going to be fire there shall not be a coal to warm it or a fire to sit before it thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored even thy merchants from thy youth they shall wander every one to his quarter none shall save thee so there is no salvation for America there is no salvation for Esau your kingdom is is almost done your time to rule is over. Um, and it it, it it makes me happy, man, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a brother, as a servant of the Lord, you know, who's been, you know, taken to the streets for many years, telling people what's going to befall America. <laughs> Even in many cases, telling people that are international, people from other countries, that America is, is, is the beast and is going to be destroyed. You know, and uh, it, it's it's uh, you know, listen, <laughs> our time is our time is almost here. It's closer. I don't want to hear if we're still here next year. Oh, see y'all, y'all, you know, that was cap. You know, because it is true we still don't know when that time is. You know, but uh, one thing for sure. Two things for certain. We're definitely closer closer to it. And historical times are here. You know, COVID and everything. Like, you can't not believe in the Bible. Like, I don't know how you how you can, after all that's happening, not, like, you know, all, all you fallouts, all, all you dudes that fell out the truth, what y'all need to be doing, honestly, is, is trying to see a way to come back in. You know, I remember 9-11 happened and the church that I was part of got packed overnight. Whole bunch of former guys that I didn't even know, obviously, because I was only a year in when that happened in the faith. I was about a year. I was in the truth when 9-11 happened uh, about a year or so. And I'll tell you, man, that the Israelite school that I was part of was packed. And, you know... Brothers fizzled out after that, you know. They 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 went back to not taking the Lord serious. So unprecedented times are coming. Akim wa Akiwath. You know, uh you know, Lord willing, you know, we out of here soon, man. You know. But with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.